Oh, can we quiet down, please? Oh yeah, quiet down, we gotta start soon. And Again, hello everyone, welcome to tonight's game show. On this Wednesday night, the day before pep rally. I'm glad you're all here. And I'm gonna get started. So can we have two partic participants from each hall come up? Two participants from each hall. Contestants could find. So we have we have lines marked at the front of the stage. Uh, if each partner pair could find a spot. Yeah, so, oh one through oh seven. Oh. Oh one here. Oh seven. All right. Oh one here. Oh two. Oh three. Oh four. And like so on. Like this, right? All right. I mean like. Yeah. So, this first game. Thanks, Camden. All right, the first game is going to be demonstrated by Matt and Naomi. Um, so each team is going to get a two-meter stick. And on the two-meter stick, there's markings um, from 95 to 105 centimeters. Each contestant is going to have to put their finger on either the 95 or the 105. They're going to have to hold their arms at 90 degrees from them or higher, and then move down to the ground Their fingers have to touch the ground, and then they have to come back up. <sighs> and that counts as one. Your fingers cannot leave the meter stick, and you cannot, you cannot drop the meter stick. You cannot touch the meter stick with any finger besides the one that is balanced on. Your fingers must be facing the inside. Um, and then you can touch in between to reset, but you must complete one cycle to the top. If there's a major height difference, go based on the taller person. Um, so there'll be three minutes. The goal is to get as many as possible. And make sure for your fingers, when you're holding it, the, your fingernails have to be facing like out, okay? So if you're on the left side, like if I'm holding a stick, my left fingernail is facing out, not in. So you can't hold it up like this. It's like this. We're changing, we're changing. Um, if you drop the meter stick, you, you, your whatever, rep, whatever rep you're on does not count, but you can start again. Just pick it up and keep going. And you don't lose the reps that you've already got. All right, are all the contestants ready? Yes? All right. All right, ready. Three, two, one, go.
One minute and 30 seconds remaining. seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. All right. Monitors, please report your scores to Jin so she can calculate them. And participants, please get off the stage. Participants, leave your meter stick with your monitor and return to your seats, please. Monitor. Guess, guess six hello hoops. Guess six hello hoops for your hall, yeah. How much time? Uh, it'll be just start it. Okay, again, can we have two more participants per hall? Two more participants per hall. So we're going to have a demonstration of how this event is going to work. Once every hall gets up here. So the way this is going to work is you're going to start with one hula hoop. And you will hula hoop it for 30 seconds. But the catch is that you do it on your arm, not your hips. So the hula hoop has to keep moving. If the hula hoop is, stops moving, you are out. Every 30 seconds, an extra hula hoop will be added. So we're gonna give each hall seven seconds to add another hula hoop. So they can, they can stop and add another hula hoop. See it like that? If, if one hula hoop stops, you're done. So for clarification, you can stop moving to put the rest of the hula hoops on and you have a seven second grace period to get those spinning again. So what that means is that like at 37 seconds, at 37 seconds you start again, at a minute and 14 you start again, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can use both arms. So first, your first three will go on one arm, and then your next three will go on the other arm. Any questions? So one person will be having the hula hoops on their arm. The other person is responsible for putting the hula hoops on the other person when the time is up. So select one person to actually use the hula hoops, and the other person to carry them. Yeah. Okay. And if the hoop stops moving, whatever reason. Contestants, you can stagger yourselves. So if the odd number halls can take a step back. What you need to do is to make sure um, if, if the hoop is dead, raise your hand. Tell Jim. No, no, no. If it stops moving, like while they're doing it and the hoop stops, raise your hand. Yeah. 
If the hoop is dead, can all the monitors raise their hands so Jin can know to time them? If a hoop stops moving, that hall is done. Make sure the, the monitors know. And can all the monitors get uh, five more hoops? Each monitor needs to have six total hoops, but one, so get five more. Or four more. All right, do all contestants understand the challenge? All right. All right, does every hall have seven hoo hoops? Six. Six. Six hula hoops. Five plus yeah. one, you already yeah, have. That's, that's yeah. All right, so one hula hoop should be with the person currently. The other five should be with the person who is not hula hooping. All right. Do all contestants have space? All right, very nice. Yeah, like Okay, is everyone ready? We will start in five, four, three, two, one, begin. All right, 30 seconds are up. Add another, you have seven seconds to add another hoop. You don't have to start until 37 seconds. So three, two, one, begin. Another hoop. You can start at 114. Two, one. All right. There's only one hall left. All right. O2 wins. Next event. So if each hall could send up eight people. Eight. and the monitors are watching this. So if you've already been up twice, you are not allowed to participate in another event. No, that's eight, that's eight. Come on, come on. Yeah. If the halls could organize in your groups, does every hall have eight people? Okay. Right so if the halls could space themselves out 01 through 07 and then go back against the curtain. Yeah. Come back here. Yes, and can each hall line up your participants? Make a line. The first, the first person should be behind the line. Oh, okay. Is that not gonna work? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. The first person in a one come up here. 
If we can have the line line. from 01 here, if we can have the line from 02 here. So like, or one line up this way? Because we're spacing you guys out. Yeah. So line from 02 here, uh, line from 03 can move over a little bit. And then on the other side, we have 07 start here. Oh, so the line from 07 over here. Um, 06 over here. If you can't and then 05 make, can move over towards the corner. If you can't make a line, know your order. Make an order from one through eight. Like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Who's gonna go? I'll give you 10 seconds to make that order. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, listen up, listen up. All of the contestants will take off their shoes right now. No, just shoes. And throw them in the, throw them in the center here. Just throw them in the center here. So make a large pile of shoes, okay. Can I have all the monitors come here and mix up all the shoes? Monitors? Has every contestant put their shoes in the middle? Wait. Okay, now, if you're not the first person, turn away. Do not face your shoes. Face away from the shoes if you're not the first person. First person. The way this is gonna work is that you are getting the shoes of the person behind you, the person next in order. You're getting the shoes of the person behind you, yeah. So you now have 30 seconds to desc describe your shoes to the person behind you. But the people in the back have to be facing away. Only the first person can be facing the shoes. All right, once you receive the shoes, you must put them on before you can go to the pile. So the first person will be running barefoot. Every other person needs to have shoes on. Yeah. Please quiet down. Contestants, for clarification, the first person in line is finding the shoes of the second person in line. The second person in line is going to put their own shoes on and then go and, and find so the and so shoes forth. of the third person and so on. Can we please have silence in the auditorium and on stage so the contestants can hear the instructions? Okay, so the first person in line is going to run into the center of the pile and find the shoes of the second person in line. They're going to run back to their line, give those shoes to the second person. The second person is going to put their own shoes on before they can run and find the shoes of the third person and so on. When the seventh person gets the shoes of the first person, the first person needs to put those shoes on before the entire relay is complete. I'm sorry, there, there's eight people. Yes. The eight person. <laughs> so the, yes. The eighth person Correct. is getting the first person's shoes. The first person needs to put their own, you are only wearing your own shoes. Okay. Does every hall understand? So you get the shoes of the person behind you. Are you first? No, no, no. You get shy entries, yeah. And she puts them on, yeah. Okay, we are going to start in five, four, three, two, one, begin.
your haulers done, tell your monitor. Make sure monitors know when to be done. Okay, that is all. Can all of the participants please return back to your halls? Or back to the oh, seats. <laughs> What's the order? Do you have the order? All right. So as the scores are going up on the board, if each hall could send up four people for the next event. And you will be using the items that Naomi is holding. Bring the buckets out. Bring the buckets out. Get the buckets. Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, they send people out. Oh, actually. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, yeah. Does every hall have four people? All right, now does every hall have four people? All right, if the halls could get in order if you are not already. Make a line from the front of the stage to back of the stage. All right, so each hall is receiving two buckets. One bucket is filled with beans. We're going to have a demonstration in the front. So the four members of the hall will line up. First member starts on this line where the bucket will be. The next member will line up next to them here, and so on. All four need to be like that. The last bucket, the empty bucket, will be at the end of the line. So the first person closest to the bucket will pick up a bean using their chopsticks and pass it to the next person. If, if the bean drops, you do not have to pick it up, but it does not count. You need to start over. It'll be five minutes to get as many beans as possible into the other bucket. So if each hall could put their bucket if each hall could put their bucket on the line. Every person, every person in the line must touch the beam. You cannot skip people. All right, put your first person, your first person should kneel next to the bucket on the, on the, on the inside of the line. The person next to, you should probably not be facing each yeah. other because unless you wanna like You should be shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. No, wait. Shoulder to shoulder, so wait. everyone needs to be facing the yeah. same direction. Oh, 
Make no. All right, everyone must be facing the same direction on your team. And again, every person on the team must touch the bean before it goes into the bucket. If you drop the bean, you do not have to pick it up, but you do have to start again. Does, do all the contestants understand the competition? All right, now let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Hold the chopsticks with one hand. So if you're holding the chopsticks with two hands, please stop holding the chopsticks with two hands. Three minutes remaining. Andy, one hand. Only one hand can be touching the chopsticks. One minute and 30 seconds remaining.
20 seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chopsticks down. All right. All right, so if the contestants could please return to their seats so we can start the next event. Keep in mind, this will be the final event. All right, so luckily, none of the contestants spilled the beans, but... Let's hope they don't spill in their next event. So this is the last and final event. If each hall could send up eight contestants, please. Does every hall have eight participants? All right, if every hall has eight participants, if you could please line up in order as usual and... Um, we need you behind the line. It's going to be a tight squeeze and we are sorry. Behind this line. Um, Hall unity, get friendly with yeah. your homemates. Oh. So, yeah. get behind yeah, the back line. Yeah. Partner up, so you can have two people on the line. Partner up, you should have four pairs. If you need to extend back into the curtain, please do. So every hall, if you'll notice, there's a mark. Line up your first person with the corresponding mark. All right. Stop. So now that you've got your four pairs, send two of them to the corresponding line on this side. So two pairs of two pairs on each end. So I know it's kind of hard for the audience to see, but each team has a bandana. If someone would like to hold it up. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, all right. So, so 
your first pair is going to start with one leg each tied together by the bandana. <laughs> Tie it around your calves, please. Because censorship. So the way this works, each contestant is going to be given a spoon. Can we have our uh, assistants come to the front of the stage, please, and demonstrate to us what the spoon looks like? Well, or not, or not, all right, there we go. The spoon looks like. All right, so each contestant is going to get a spoon, and each contestant is also going to receive a hard-boiled egg to put on that spoon. So the first two who are tied together are going to walk with the spoons balanced to the other side. So when you get to the other side, you're going to give it to the pair that is next and you need to tie the bandana onto their legs. If you drop it, you have to bend down and pick it up onto your spoon. You cannot touch the egg ever with anything besides the spoon. So if you drop the egg, bend over, pick the egg up on the spoon, and keep going. So for the audience's benefit, if once, if, if you end in the front, uh, if you could just sort of move out of the way so the audience can better see what's happening, that would be terrific. Do all the contestants understand the game? Well To reiterate, each okay. person in the pair will hold one egg in their one spoon in their one hand. The pair must have one foot touch the other line. So you don't need to go past the line. You need to reach it. Um, and when you reach the end, first you will hand your spoon over to the next pair, and then you can untie yourselves and tie the bandana onto the next pair before they begin walking. You drop the egg while you're passing it, pick it up using only the spoons. Again, you can never touch the egg unless you're using a spoon. Yes. The person who was holding the spoon last and is passing the spoon and egg off, those two must be the two to tie the bandana onto the next pair. You cannot have anyone else in the line do it for you. Pass the egg and the spoon first. Once the other two receive it, or like in, in the middle, I don't really care. Um, untie the bandana around your own legs. Tie it around the legs of the next two. Yeah. One, one hand, one hand. They pick it up with a spoon. If you drop the egg, you pick it up with your spoon. And remember, only one spoon per hand. You cannot use both hands. If you touch the egg with something besides the spoon, you have to start over from the line that you were just at. So if you were on this side and you get halfway, and then 
you, you put your hand on the egg for some really stupid reason. You have to go back to the, this line over here. Your hand must be on the long part of the spoon. You cannot be touching the, the curved the curved part of the spoon. <laughs> If there is any intentional interference with the other teams, you will be disqualified. So. And if you're waiting, be sure to give your partners who are going enough space so that what their feet can touch the line. If you touch it and you, if you, anytime you are asked to restart by your monitor, it only means the two who just went does not mean the entire relay. Are there any other questions from the contestants? And again, contestants, if once you reach this side and you are done, if you could please move ar around so that people can see the stage. Preferably, once you're done, just go back to your seats. Yes. No. If you drop the egg, you do not have to go back. You just have to pick it up. If your egg rolls, uh, into the path of someone else. Just, just tell them, tell them not to keep going and go get it. So please, please try not to drop the eggs, guys. Is everyone clear on the rules? The first team to finish will win, and so on and so forth. All right. Everyone ready? Three, two, one, go! You can receive the spoon however you want, but once you start walking, you can only hold it with one hand. Only one hand can be holding the spoon. Make sure when you get to the end, you must untie the bandana and tie it back. You cannot just slide the bandana on. team competing so if those of you in the front would like to pass your spoon and egg off to someone if you're done you get know, off several, there are several teams still competing congratulations to those who have finished but no. to all the contestants. We're going to be putting the final scores up pretty soon.
Could everyone return the eggs and bandanas and spoons? Because if you have not, we would like them back. So after that excellent challenge, can I hear something from a one? O2, where are you at? O3? Cycle 4? O5? O6, I can hear you. Last but not least, O7. Surely we will be presenting the final scores from the game show. Michael Paul! All right. So while Paul takes care of that, can we get a drum roll, please, for the final results? In seventh place, we have 1501. In sixth place, we have 1504. In fifth place, we have 1505. In fourth place, 1506. 
in third place, 1502. And in first place, we have 6.30. Thank you to everyone for, to, for coming. So tomorrow, as a reminder, dress up day is Clash Colors. Wear your Clash shirts. At midday, we will have face painting.